Thank you, Mr. Evan. I certainly had to stand up for federal workers the way Jim Moran has done. Uh, we were also losing Frank Wolf, which regardless of our ideological views of Frank, has also done a good job on the same issues. Uh, but I've worked with Jerry Connolly, Marilyn Reps, and Eleanor Holmes Norton as well. Um, and I would seek a 3.3% pay raise. Uh, federal workers have gone three years without. I would seek to end the OPM backlog of 48 months for federal retirees to get their uh, retirement process and their benefits. And lastly, I'd fight for the Metro subsidy that was $200 and is now just down to 120 Thank you. Mr. Levine. So if you're concerned about sequestration or furloughs, that's why you need the aggressive progressive. I have been on air for years in regions of the country that are not this region arguing about patriotic federal workers and contractors and the job they do. Listen, people in this region get it. People in Virginia, Maryland, they get it. People in Idaho and Texas, they don't. And so you need someone that's willing to go on TV, explain how federal workers actually sacrifice. They give up wages to serve their country. They are patriotic in the same way the veterans are patriotic. You have to get out and make that argument and do it in the national media. Mr. Byer. I'm going to be the greatest champion for federal employees I can be. Since Ronald Reagan, there's been this trend to think that federal employees aren't important, that they don't work hard, and they were the backbone of this government that gives so much to us. I had 100 federal employees working with me in Switzerland the last four years, and I watched how their quality of life slowly but inevitably diminished with no pay raise for three straight years. But I also want to say when it comes to federal contractors, I want, I want to be an accomplishment for America first and the 8th District second. We want to make the right budget decisions for the country and let the businesses here fairly compete. 